Real Action is brought to you by Pertec, with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got Wayne Gordon, better known as Gordo, it's yes. just Gordo. We pull up at the service station, g'day Gordo! Hello. Oh, and there's Guesty. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to chase one of my favourite fish today, and that's Pearl Perch. Fantastic eating fish. They fight hard on the bottom, they sort of slow up a bit when you get them up yeah. off the bottom, but they're just one of those, I guess, premier fish in this part of the world to catch. I sure are. Duck out a little bit deeper. We did actually even get some live bait on the way out, collected a few live yellowtails, a couple of pinnacles where we're a chance of a, a Mulloway, a kingfish, and even an amberjack. We could give that a go. We love mixing things up a bit. We're going to drop some jigs down. We do have some bait there as well, but I'd love to show you a couple of big pearl perch on camera. That's the plan anyway. We're at about, oh, look in the sound. I'll tell you what, look in the sound. There's plenty of bait there, a couple of decent fish showing. So we're going to drop one of these live baits down. We're actually heading out to chase a pearl perch, but we thought we'd just pull up. Can't go past that mark. So big 10-0 circle hook, three-way swivel. Um, snapper lead down the bottom, some 80 pound there and some 80 pound leader. So you never know, like this is a really good spot for amberjacks. Yep. We get kingfish, mulloway, all sorts of things. Here's a live bait I prepared earlier, Gordo. Gordo. Here we are, got him. Let's hope they're out and about. We want him to jump around and make lots of vibrations. So we'll just pin him through the back. I can't right. do any more than that. Right. All right. I can Let's do go. is that much. You right. go. I, I'm going to throw him over. <laughs> I'm going to drop a jig over here. <laughs> got him on, mate. Yep. Go, son. Yes. <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Give it some drag. Fetch him. I'm fetching him. He's fetching me. No. I'm fetching him. Oh, well, that didn't take long. We're going out to find a pearl perch. And I marked a couple of good fish on a spot here, and I thought, oh, I've got to give it a crack. And always a good chance of a big kingfish or an amberjack here. Always a good feeling when you, when you know they're up and they're off the bottom. Yes. We're only in 20 metres. and. Those big fish pulling hard. Oh, when they the first, yeah, first go, you get a bit worried. But, but it's just, we couldn't go past this spot. I had a look and I thought, that looks like a couple of kingfish is what I thought they were. What is that? It is it's an amberjack? It's an amberjack. Yeah. That's, that's what we wanted. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, dear. Oh, awesome, mate. Electronics just play such a massive part in the way we fish. And to be able to, to, be able to mark <laughs> a couple of cool fish, and then pull up, and that was uh, that was one of those live yellowtail. We collected a few on the we did, mate. on the way out, and that's worked straight away. Right, there buddy, you go, mate. Been back in the water. <laughs> Off you go, mate. Yeah. What a start! Oh, that nice was. fish. Let him go. Oh. <laughs> Just having a bit of a scout around and see if we can't find a few decent bottom fish here somewhere. Maybe a kingfish or an amberjack be floating around. So. They do love hanging around the bait. So you can see this big lump we've got here at the moment. So I've got the conventional sounder picture down scan. There's a big sheer drop off on this side. So if we can get it where the current's hitting it and the bait's being pushed up, that'll be a really good spot to uh, either drop a jig down, drop a live bait, anything along those lines. So just see if we can can't come back up the other way here. Just climbing back up on top of this bit of a pinnacle here. And that's looking pretty good. There's bait compressed hard on the bottom and hopefully there's a kingfish or two hanging around or an amberjack in amongst that. It does look good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, got him. Come on. Oh. <laughs> What's happening over here? Oh, I've got something on. <laughs> Probably similar to what you had on before I reckon yep. mate. Feels like it. Don't they go that first five oh, metres of the water column down the bottom? Just trying to get him up off the bottom. There's a pretty cool outfit this one, five PE five dates, a 50 to 80 pound. That big spin reel on there, that 8500 spin reel with some 80 pound braid, 80 pound leader. So it's designed for catching or extracting big fish off the bottom. This is not a big fish, but you still got to get it. It's a nice fish, but you still got to get it up off the bottom to start with. And I reckon it might be very similar to what Gordo had earlier. Gee, they go, these things. There's no doubt about that. All right, without the net, I reckon, Gordo, I'll just give him a quick lift. Sit that rod down. 
take a wrap, lift him straight up like that. Bit of a comfort lift. Oh, and I've joined the Amberjack Club. Easy as that. <laughs> and that was cool. Solid fight. Marked a few more. What we might even do is have a bit more of a drive around this spot before we leave. And we can just sort of use that electric motor, hit that uh, electric anchor button, spot lock, and drop another live bait down. So we can come with that. I saw you Sounds fluffing good. around with some light tackle yeah, over there. Yeah, mate. They'd be, they'd be good fun on that. They would be, but I don't know about the light tackle <laughs> I was used to. Off you go, bud. Thanks for the battle. That was good fun. Awesome fun. There you go. Well, that's good fun in closer there with the live baits. We've moved out, changed tackle, and uh, we're going to drop some, some Oco style jigs down to the bottom. And uh, you can screw a soft plastic into the back of them and with, a, with a curly curly tail grab or all sorts of different types of soft plastics. You can even add a bit of, we've got some Oco heads there or some squid heads and add a squid tentacle so that you know the pickers can pull that off and then you can, you can uh, leave that jig down there and keep just working it up and down. It's a real slow sort of technique, it's just that slow lift and they, they even, I hate to say it, they work really well you know, doing the old Reggie rod holder technique, oh. you can stick them in the rod holder while you're drifting along and <laughs> while I've been as talking, talking, as I talk, Cordae just caught a nice little pan yeah. size. Perfect eating size. Snapper, yeah he is actually. Yep. He's just snuck up, hold him up in the sun so everyone can see mate, beautiful. The sound is looking pretty good there it mate. Is, mate. Yeah. That was our first drop too by the way. Yeah, well done. I'll Hopefully keep looking up and down, you can see. So what size is that one? 100 120. Oh, yeah, we're in, we're in 70, 65 metres of water. Oh, I'm getting a bit of a touch, so. 120, yep. Main thing is, you don't really strike, do you? You just let it waft up well, and down. I might just let this one go, mate. And let the fish hook oh. themselves like that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, I'm away. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. I reckon that could be a snapper as well. Good fun on this lighter tackle. So it's only 20 pound braid and some 30 pound leader. These little jig reel and rod outfits are just perfect for this style of fishing. And uh, I think we're both on the same colour. I've got a red jig on as well, mate. Yeah, mate. So, certainly doing the job at the moment. And I reckon this could be a, another snapper. It's not the pearl perch we're looking for yet, but hey, who's complaining? Hey. You're never complaining when you're catching snapper. Oh, it's not a snapper. It's a Venus tusk fish. You beauty. Oh, come here, bud. Hey, check that out, mate. Very nice fish. Oh, I love these things. Look at the colours yep. on that. I'm trying to get him up in the sun there. They blew around the eyes and across that massive big long dorsal fin. Oh, hang in there big fella, hang in there. And that's done its job, that octo jig. And I've just added, I don't know if you can see, just a tiny little bit of squid tentacle there. It just adds a little bit of sand or flavour. You could run a soft plastic there as well. Definitely, yeah. I've got to tell you, that has worked an absolute treat. Beautiful fish. I'm on. <laughs> Mate, on the, just free spooling down, having, you having your chat about your fish. This I know. Thing. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, that's a nice snapper. Nice little snapper, yes. mate. Yep. Beautiful. So he's climbed on that jig, thinking that's some sort of octopus. And they, only tiny little hooks when you look at the size of those hooks. Oh. <laughs> and I got whacked. Go. That's exactly what happened to me, mate. Oh. Yep. Mate, that's, that's a perfect size snapper. And if, if you're going to eat a little pan size one, it's probably the size to eat too. But it is, yeah. But peak bite times with all your fishing, we've got a high tide coming up very, very soon. And I reckon the fish are on the chew at the moment. And hey, that's like fish, that's fish a drop at the moment. It is, it yeah, is. Good stuff. All right, you get the hooks out of that one. Yep. Mate, I reckon I might. Oh, oh. pigeon pear. <laughs> pigeon pear. I've got oh. a little bit of the squid on mine. Another little, beautiful little snapper. Yep. And good fun on that light tackle. Oh, my great Jigging fun. up and down. Yep. He's starting to get a bit of a bump, that one. Yeah. Check that out. Oh. Well. Can't complain with that, mate. No. They're great eating size and good on this gear. Oh, no, good fun, yep. for sure. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue New South Wales app, and it's free. 
All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile, be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. Oh, you got to show that. <laughs> oh, How's that? Look uh, at that, mate. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd lost one, so I just let it sit there. Another one's come up. Oh, two at a time. <laughs> Amazing. Just little fellas, those ones. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm on, Gasty. Go, son. Yep. Better fish? Yeah, mate. Really good fish. That's the go. Not a wait about it. There's the wind. Oh, mate. Here's, here's one I prepared. So it's bigger than that? Is it bigger than oh, that? I hope one? it is, mate. I'll let him go. There's definitely a lot of weight about it. That's the go. What do we got? Oh, what we have. It's the pearly. <sighs> we promised a pearl perch. There you go, mate. Oh, there's a jig. So just on the, on the metal jig, that one. I'll hang on to him, actually, while yep. you. Yeah. That. He's probably not the big pearl perch we're not. looking for, but. We promised a pearl perch, and, and that's what they look like. They grow oh, probably five kilos, six yeah, kilos. Yeah, yep. They can grow quite big, but they're a magnificent eating fish. I'm not sure what they're going to be to be legal size in New South Wales. Yeah, 30 centimetres. 30 maybe. centimetres, yep. Yeah, yeah they are, they're a cool looking thing. Great big eye, and they, they hunt pretty hard along the bottom. We've got a good show on the sander here now. Yep. It is blowing, dead set. I don't know if you can hear that wind, but it is blowing 25 knots. I was going to say 25 knots. And Seriously, we're sitting here with that electric motor down and I don't know how it's holding us, but it's doing a great job at the moment because we're in the big boat and it's, yeah, anyway, we're not going anywhere. We're in, what are we in, Gordo? Just uh, about 80, 80 metres of water. Yep. We got the pearly, so hey. we can tick that box. <laughs> not a big one, but it's a pearly. Oh, come on. It's actually a big dolphin. Just buzzing around here, trying to eat my snapper, which is not a snapper. Oh, and it's a pearl perch. I've joined the club with Gordo. We said we wanted to get a couple of pearlies. And look at that. It is ridiculous how windy it is at the moment, but here we go. One on the jig, on the metal jig, and one on the octo jig as well. Perfect. Oh, but oh. this one's taking drag. Oh. <laughs> Early. Right, it's a good good bit of weight about it, mate. This one, he sort of hit it a couple of metres off the bottom too, this fish. Oh! <laughs> this is a good fish. Good fish. <laughs> he's got me right, he's down there. He's down there. He's wooed up a bit now. Definitely a churner, you reckon? Mate, I'm, I'm not going to call this one. I'm just going to say it's a good fish. <laughs> so what do you think, mate? Mate, oh, Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, well done. We get a shot. Got him. <laughs> oh, look out. <laughs> oh. There we go. Hey, hey well, well, well done, mate. Excellent. Yeah. That wasn't on our list. <laughs> no, was. That was definitely not on our list. No, that'll do. Grab him by the mouth and lift him up. So you just dropped that bigger jig head down there, mate. So we've, we've had metal jigs, octo jigs, and I've got to tell you, that, that big soft plastic has absolutely done the trick. Is it a curly tail one? I can't it even is, see. Mate. It yeah. is, mate. It is. He's gulped it down inside there. He has gulped it down big time. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a cracking fish. Well done. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page to get you hooked up every week. 
we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well done. A good fun on that light tackle oh, in that deep water. We're trying to work out what it was going to be. Oh, is it I a big I, snapper? I think I said is it a pole perch about this long? <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty good so far. Oh. Amberjacks, a few little rat kings, snapper, Venus tusfish, pearl perch. Pearl, we got the pearl pearlies, perch. Yep. And a cobia. And this. Oh, I've got to tell you, that's pretty good. Oh, it's been a great day. Try and tick one of those boxes off today. I'm on the PwC for a bit of fast fishing, Lake Awunga, just out of Gladstone, and I'm going to try and catch a barramundi uh, off this machine. I've never caught one yet, so it's nice to have a, a new goal, and uh, it's a great looking day. Fair bit of breeze, and that's a great thing about this part of the world, uh, Southern Great Barrier Reef, Gladstone, that there's areas that you can just, um, you know, like Lake Awunga where you can get out of the wind. It wouldn't be much fun offshore, so. Uh, I'm going to blast around in this. There's a million places to catch a bear in Lake Awunga. Let's see if we can't find one. Deep diving, hard bodies out there. One goes down to about eight metres, the other one about five metres. And um, I'm just in and out of gear. I want to try and do about four or five kilometres an hour. So it's just a matter of on the throttle, off the throttle. And I'm, I know where this old creek bed goes, it runs along here. I'm just going to follow that and see if I can't find, a, find myself a big barramundi off the PWC. It's all happening here, I've just had a bite. And it's gotta be a barramundi, surely. So anything when you troll two rods, you have gotta get the other one in. So I'm just holding tension on one, which is that one. Keep tension on that one, and I need to warn this other one in. <laughs> it's definitely all happening right at the moment. So just keep nice, even tension. And really, I probably should have just had one rod out, to be perfectly honest. But uh, typical me, not too much going on at once. Keep tension on this fish. I'll get this lure out and I'll be much, much happier, I've got to tell you. It's blowing a gale. Right, that's that one done. All right, wow, hit me like a freight train. Looks like this fish is coming up towards the surface here now. Man, it took off, I tell you. Ooh. There we go. In pretty clean water here, I'm in about 10 metres. And I've been trolling for about two and a half hours. <laughs> so, and uh, I've never caught a barramundi off PwC before. And I'm really hoping I can get this one to the net and show you what it looks like. And it's pretty cool. I was actually trolling at, I think I was doing about 5.9 kilometres an hour. So that's probably not a bad speed as far as the wind goes here. So it worked out pretty good, really. Oh, big lunges. I haven't seen this fish yet. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I can see the big, oh, big boil there, big silver sides. It's just a matter of getting it to the net's gonna be the tricky thing. <laughs> it's blowing. I'm a long way from home here. Doing a bit of solo fishing. Oh. All right, so I've got my net ready. So I'll sit that up there. I've got a pair of pliers in, the, as the Kiwis would call it, the chili bin at the back there. Some really good storage. Oh, there's an, oh, it's a big barramundi. See if I can, it's not ready to come in yet. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's hooked under the jaw. Let's see if I can sneak him in. Come on, bud. 
He's a bit wrapped up. Oh, that's a good fish. Right, a little bit more line in. And I haven't got my great big baronet here, but let's just see if I can get him in. Oh, yes! Woo! All right. Oh, man, I'm so happy to have done that. Woo! Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> oh, the wind's actually backed off a tiny bit and the sun's come out just for a second. Oh, I tell you, man, they go like a train. It's a big impoundment barra. You can see those dirty great big shoulders on the side of it. They are a seriously chunky individual. Look at that. I've just got that fish on the lip grips there. Look at the size of the thing. Big chunky impoundment barra. Um, a really good mate, Justin Knight, he's a guide here at Lake Awunga. I'm just fishing outside Gladstone, Gladstone Lake Awunga. Uh, he'd be proud of me for, for showing a bit of patience here today because he says to me, Guess you, you have a coffee, you jump around like a maniac, but at least I stuck it out and I got the bite. Check that out, that's a magnificent fish. And I can tell you, one really happy angler. That's uh, Michael Guest on his own. You've been watching Real Action, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. All right, buddy, back in the water. Oh, I love that. That was sensational. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> Real action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus. Look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology, and safety, they're the driver's choice.